What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Coach TB podcast. I'm your host, Coach TB, and we are here to teach you how to get the woman of your dreams. And one of the ways that we can do that here is we want to increase your confidence. You know why? Because confidence is key. It doesn't matter if the woman looks like Megan Good, Angelina Jolie, Angela Bassett, or any other woman. We want you to have the confidence that you want to have. And we're going to talk about confidence in today's episode. So let's get right into it. One of the reasons why men lack confidence is because of style and status. And what do I mean by that? If you look at a man and you look at what that man has on, you can kind of tell what his confidence level is. Because a man that has real good confidence... I don't care if he's wearing street clothes or he's wearing a suit. His clothes are going to be nice. His outfit is going to be is going to be fresh. He's going to have a nice outfit. He's going to have a nice presentation. His shoes are going to be clean. His face is going to be clean. His outfit is going to all around speak that he's a confident man. But when you walk around with dirty clothes and dirty shoes and oversized pants, oversized shirts, jackets that need to be thrown away, you're not exuding the confidence level that you need as a man. So that's the reason why you lack confidence to approach women because you know your outfit is garbage. So take, for instance, you're sitting in a restaurant and you see a beautiful woman walk in and you're sitting at the bar, she's sitting at the bar, but... You really don't have confidence because your outfit is whack. You may not have brushed your teeth before you left the house. And your shoes are dirty. So you've already struck out before you've even talked to a woman. See, a lot of people think getting a woman is something you do outside of you. No, it's all... Getting a woman deals with what's, what's going on on the inside of you. So what's going on on the inside of you is if your outfit is trash, that is something you can control. If your breath is funky, that's something you can control. If your shoes are dirty, that's something you can control. And see, the reason why you don't get anywhere with women and you keep getting this is because you lack the self-confidence because how can you be confident in yourself when your outfit's not right, your finances aren't right, your hygiene isn't right, your style isn't right? So if none of those are right, how are you going to get a woman? So I'm going to teach you how to increase your confidence in this episode with number one, find a style. No matter what style you get, whether it's urban, conservative, business casual, business formal, suit and tie, jeans and a jersey, everything has to fit. You don't need to win. And, and and see, the thing about fashion is when you find your style, you have to learn that there are certain outfits that just aren't going to work anymore. It's 2023. If you're still wearing cargo pants in 2023, stop it. Like, stop it. Oh, my God. Stop it. 
burn all your cargo pants right now. Get rid of them. If you want to wear pants like cargo pants, get yourself some khakis or chinos. Make sure they fit. And there are so many style videos on YouTube that will teach you how to appropriately fit a pair of pants and a shirt. Which brings me to number two. Get shirts that fit. Dress shirts, t-shirts, coats, blazers, everything needs to fit. Because if they don't fit, then that's going to look bad on you. Everything needs to fit. You don't need to get anything that's not going to fit. Because what's that, what that does is that makes you look like a kid. Kids wear clothes that are too big for them because they're growing. They're growing into their clothes. So if you're a a grown adult and you're not growing anymore and you haven't grown within the last 10 years, meaning height-wise, and your body hasn't changed, then you need to get clothes that fit. Because clothes that fit show maturity. They show care. They show you care about yourself. And if you care about yourself, other people will care about you too. Number two, start wearing cologne. There is nothing, there is nothing. And I said it in another episode, get cologne. Cologne and smelling good is directly linked to your self-confidence. Number three. Number three. Find yourself a group of men that are doing what you want to do in life. So let's say you own a business, but your business isn't growing. You need to go out and find men that are successful business owners that can help you elevate your level in life. See, that's the thing. Life is about elevation. This is how you increase your confidence as a man, by elevating your life, by elevating the people that you're around, by learning new things, by experiencing new things, and and learning and growing and living life. There is nothing better than being around a group of men who are actually doing something with their lives, and they're not sitting down in la la land just letting life live them my next point how to increase your confidence go out and meet people stop sitting in the house all day it is now spring it is now spring There is no excuse why you as a man should be in the house unless you're busy with work or your own travel. Get outside the house. It's going to be warm. It's going to be nice. There's going to be women out. There's going to be people out. Life happens outside of the house. Life doesn't happen inside. Life happens outside. Life happens outside. I'm going to say that one more time. Help me. Help me. I'm going to say that one more time. Life happens outside of the house. Get outside. You can't complain that you aren't meeting people if you're inside the house. So you need to go outside, step out of your comfort zone, and actually get around people that are doing something. And another point. Go on adventures. Travel. Travel. 
I want you to make a challenge for yourself that if you've never left your home state, you need to leave your home state and go traveling. You don't have to go far. Go to the next state over. So, for example, if you live in Virginia, you need to go to North Carolina or Maryland or West Virginia. If you live in Atlanta, you need to go to Florida or South Carolina. If you live in Mississippi, you need to go to Alabama or Texas or or New Orleans, Louisiana. If you live in California, go to Las Vegas, Nevada, or go to Washington State, or go to, to New Mexico or Mexico. Just go one state over from where you are. Do that at least four times this spring and summer. Go out, go to the next state over. Spend the day there, go back home. Go back to another state the next day. Spend the day there, soak up the culture, the the people, the the atmosphere. Do that for at least maybe twice a month, which is not that bad. Do that twice a month from spring till the end of summer. And I guarantee you, your confidence level will go up. Because you're becoming a well-traveled individual. When you learn about other people, you learn about other cultures, about other people, about other cities, about other life. People live differently when you go to a different state. Each state has their, their signature food. For Chicago, it's the Chicago pizza. For Philly, it's the Philly cheese steak. For Maryland, it's the Maryland blue crab. Each state has their own food. For Texas, it's barbecue. But how are you going to know what Texas barbecue tastes like if you've never had it? You got to step out of your comfort zone. And once you step out of that comfort zone, that's where your confidence is going to build. And then you'll be able to have something to talk about with women. If you don't have a life, you're not going to be able to talk to people. Talk to them about what? Despair and drudgery? And last but not least... I don't want to be long. Read. Read books. Me, I'm big on history. I am huge on black history. I love it. I can read a black history book every single week. But I challenge you, read one book a week. Read one book a week and study that book. I don't care if it's Rich Dad, Poor Dad, How to Win Friends and Influence People, How to Meet New People. Read one book a week. Study that book. Because that's going to increase your vocabulary. That's going to increase your thoughts. That's going to change the way you look at the world. And you will thank me later. That's been it for today's podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Get that confidence up. Build your confidence. Build your confidence. Because I believe in you. And you can do it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.